What is up YouTube? It's FTJ Legit here and I'm bringing you a tutorial for those newbies, those new beginners on Minecraft. As Minecraft gets more popular, there are a lot of new people starting to play and they have no idea what they get themselves into. So I'm going to go over some really, really extremely basic stuff if you just got the game, started playing it and you have no idea what's going on. So first thing you know, you're going to spawn in the area and be a little overwhelmed you'll have uh you'll be in a different biome right now i'm on a side of a plains biome and a forest biome and uh, everything's blocky so you're gonna get used to that and there'll be animals running around you'll have all these different buttons uh, it's it's pretty overwhelming if you have no clue what you're doing especially if you're just a little kid and you get the game so first thing you want to know right down there you see i have my health bar, my hunger bar, and that gray line is where experience will be filled, and then my hotkey bars, that's where my items will be placed. So that's something you should know, we'll get in more in depth about that a little later. Also on your computer if you press E or I, it depends on your computer, it'll open up an inventory screen, you'll be able to see your character, and uh, you get additional inventory spots here, you have place for your armor over here, and you can make simple crafting recipes over here and we'll get into that right away so the first thing you want to do when you get in a minecraft world um, depending on your difficulty right now I'll, I'll go to normal so uh, on easy and normal difficulty you will be losing the hunger bar that's the one that looks like uh, uh, chicken leg or whatever you got there so uh, running around jumping and even healing hearts drains your hunger. So I'm just gonna try and run around and jump around a bit so my hunger goes down. You see there I jumped too far and lost some health because of fall damage but it does restore. Uh, it only restores because my hunger was full but now that it has restored my hunger has been drained. You see it's blacked out there which means I lost that hunger. So to restore hunger you're gonna find an animal. Unfortunately, unfortunately you can't get any food from sheep so you're gonna go to either chickens are easy to kill but you can also go to a pig and uh, by just left clicking you can brutally murder them and punch them to death and you'll get some raw pork chops of course you have a chance of being poisoned eating raw food but we're gonna have to take that risk this early into the game so you saw there my hunger was restored after holding down right click and eating the food so you can kill all sorts of animal from cows to chickens to pigs where do you go escaped wow he's a magician and you can heal your hunger when your hunger's full you'll restore health simple as that next we're gonna go into some crafting so if you have uh, some food on you or and you're comfortable getting started you're gonna want to find a tree any tree will do you see this is a variation of a tree this is a birch tree we'll go with a regular oak tree all you do is hold down left click and you'll see it'll slowly pixelate out until it's destroyed and you'll get the blocks for it so you can see in the hot bar right down here it's same as down there and you can hold it in your hand I now have oak wood so this is a block it's uh, different than seeds because seeds you can't really do anything with on your hand but when you have a block in your hand you can simply right click and it'll place down exactly how the block looks and uh, it's as easy as that so something you can do with wood when you start the game you're going to want to turn it into oak wood planks simply all you do is just take one wood throw it in your crafting box up here one wood plank will give you four oak wood planks so you can just click on that and grab it and you can um, easily mass produce this and get quite a bit of wood so once you have wood there's all, this is your staple resource this is something you're going to need throughout the whole game so uh, you see just by putting wood in the crafting uh, crafting box here there's so many different variations I can get. just one piece there gives me a button pieces like that give me sticks but notice it has to be in the right order if you put two pieces like that you'll get a stick if you put it sideways or parallel uh, sorry sideways you will uh, not get the same recipe it'll give you a whole different item so it has to be put in in the right orientation so you see there I can get some sticks first thing you're gonna want to do is put all four in and you'll get a crafting table as you see this is a block so you can simply throw that down and now you have a crafting table 
right clicking on this will bring up a menu similar to your inventory but instead your crafting box is no longer 2x2 two two, it is now 3x3 three three, giving you endless possibilities of crafting well not endless but this is pretty much all you need so now I'm gonna go ahead and make some sticks just by putting two vertical I get four sticks and with these sticks uh, you can make all sorts of tools this is also another staple so I'm I need some more wood before I can actually make some tools so I'm just gonna come over here and mine out some wood okay I'll turn this into planks you can also do this this has the same recipes as in your inventory so there we are and now I'm going to make a weapon so I'm going to make a sword to start off a wooden sword since I'm using wood I'll get a wooden weapon so you see putting a stick as a handle and the two planks I can get a wooden sword you can see is plus four attack damage you can see if I do it try and do it this way it does not work you can actually move it to this side and it will work just like that so I can grab that sword you just click it and you got a sword and as you see I'm holding it so if I want to come up to the sheep I can hit him kill it a lot faster than your fists would and you can get their items. This is wool I just collected. You can also make, uh, there's the three main things you'll need is a sword, a pickaxe. This is almost your most important item in the game. Obviously not wooden one is not the best. So a pickaxe. Uh, this allows you to mine out uh, solids a lot faster. If you see with my hand, if I try and mine out grass, it's pretty slow pickaxe it's still slow so this does not work on dirt and gravel and stuff like that but you'll notice that later on in the game for stuff like that you're going to need a shovel to dig up all that dirt so it's getting nighttime here I do have a well, let's just get through this sorry so I'm gonna make more sticks just like so two in get your sticks now I'm gonna make a larger handle and this is the recipe for a shovel. There you go, a shovel. You can add that in your inventory. So those are, uh, uh, that's another essential. So I guess there's four essentials. I'll show you the next one a bit pretty soon. So now you see, compared to my hand mining it, slow with the shovel, a lot faster. You'll notice when you're using tools, if you look down there, there's a green bar on the tool. That means you've used up durability. So the more you use a tool, the uh, the less green they'll be, and eventually it, the tool will break when it runs out of durability. So that's why you must uh, make lots of tools and get stronger tools to, to outweigh that. Ignore this if you're newbie. I'm just going to uh, change the time using a hack um, just so we don't get killed by monsters because we don't want to have to deal with that right away. So ignore that and we're going to get back to this uh, portion of the tutorial. Next thing I want to do is make uh, a hatchet. You see punching these trees down is terribly slow and you know you need a lot and a lot of wood. So you're going to go in your thing, got your sticks and all, you're going to make- oh jeez! And uh, well we're introduced to one of your main foes early on to the game. Didn't want to get into enemies right away, but uh, I'm sure everyone knows of the infamous creeper. When he gets too close, he will explode, causing a crater. I'll show that right now. Like that, it'll cause a crater, explode, does damage, lost hearts, and all. It's a horrible way, a horrible enemy to encounter, especially because uh, it has some features that the other monsters don't have. But I'll show that in a later tutorial for noobs, I guess. So this is the recipe for a hatchet or an axe. So these are your four, four made items you'll need to know when starting the game. So with the axe, you can see I can blow through these uh, these wood this tree a lot faster, letting me get a lot more wood uh, more efficiently. So now that I got all this wood and stuff, I'm worried about my durability running low. If you look on my sword, the green is getting a little low. So what you're gonna want to do is advance your tools right away just cuz it's such a simple process mining down through the dirt with your shovel or even your hand if need be you'll reach uh, stone you'll notice you can't get through it with your shovel punching it is so ridiculously slow to get through it and when if you punch it through you'll notice 
right there, I didn't get a block for it. That's because you have to use a wooden pickaxe or stronger to get through stone. So I'm just going to go right through here. And you see, I've mined out the stone and I got a block, but it's a little different than, than the stone we were just mining. That's because it's cobblestone, because once stone is mined, it's uh, destroyed and turned into cobblestone. This is also, yet again, another staple in the game that you're going to need for quite a bit of recipes. So now that I have some stone, I can, uh, stone is pretty much the upgraded wood version of wood and planks. So now I can go ahead and go with our first recipe we learned and get a stone sword. You see, it's stronger now, it'll last longer now, and uh, I'm, f I'm upgraded. So I can upgrade all my tools, even if need be. I'm just going to upgrade the pickaxe because that's an essential. I recommend upgrading all your tools to stone, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to go with a f few basics here. So, actually, I'll go with the hatchet now. So now I got a stone axe, and you'll, you can, uh, I'll show a comparison of the two. As you notice, these weapons also do have attack damage. So you can see the stone axe even does more damage than the wooden sword, just to show how good upgrading your weapons with different materials are. So look at this, I can just completely blow through this tree, and you got all your resources. Of course, stone is considered a very terrible, terrible, uh, terrible... Uh, tool stone tools are pretty bad considerably but uh for starting off a game you it's it's all you need really there is it goes from wooden to stone to iron to gold to diamond so those are all the possible resources you can find and make weapons and tools out of as well as armor so starting off your game this is all you'll need you won't have to worry about armor you won't have to worry about picking up saplings, get planting seeds, because it's very early in the game. You'll notice I received an apple. Just from chopping down trees, you receive an apple, and I just ate it to restore some hunger. So one thing you will need to do is maybe travel through your region a bit and look for uh, uh, animals that you can kill and eat, because your hunger will go low going back and forth doing all this sort of thing. So I'm going to cut down a different type of tree right here. And you notice I'll get the birch wood, which turns into birch wood planks. Different color, but no worries. You can still make all the same recipes out of it. It's just a different color for aesthetics, really. So, hopefully uh, you can do that all in one day. And if it becomes night, you can always bury yourself under for the night and wait till morning just so you don't get killed. Or you can turn it to peaceful mode where there is no monsters and uh, you uh, don't have to worry about your hunger going down and your health regenerates automatically. So as you see there, I automatically turned all those wood into planks. You see, I have 64 and 5. You notice I can't place this 5 on this 64 because 64 is considered a max pile. Once you have 64 of an item, you'll max out a pile and then it'll start a new pile and so on and so on. So, now that I have my max pile of wood, uh, now I'm going to want to set up a house just because it's going to get dark. So, you can start by just right clicking and it puts down a block. You can hold down right click and it will continually put down blocks as you see. So I'm going to start off with a, a decent area here. I'm going to go just with a nice basic square wooden shack sort of deal. I'm going to fill in the walls but I'm going to leave a hole for windows so you can look outside and see if there's anything out there. Any uh, threats out there. So now that I have my walls up, I wanted to put it two blocks high because if you notice by pressing F5 you can see your character in third person. If you notice your character is two blocks high. So two blocks high is the minimum requirement for a house of course, but uh, for uh, just so it doesn't feel so cramped, I like to put it three blocks high, just so I have more room and I don't bump my head on the ceiling, so to speak. So as you see, I quickly blew through that 64 wood, which, hey, get down from there, which uh, emphasizes how much uh, gathering of resources you'll have to do. So now that I have my uh, roof there set up, I'm going to use dirt for my, ce uh, once I have my wall set up, I'm going to use dirt for my ceiling. 
So what you can actually do by pressing space to jump, press space and right click at the same time, you can jump up on a block. And uh, this is an effective way to travel directly upwards uh, without having to make a whole stairway. So now I'm going to start placing blocks here just for a roof. I'm using dirt just because my wood supply was getting a little low. And I like having uh, different color schemes in my house. Ooh, one short. I can fill that in from down there. Just mine these ones out with my hand. Nice and quick. And there we go. So now we got a ceiling on our house, which protects us from mobs going over, such as spiders, as they can climb walls and come in. I want to put windows in, which you can uh, do uh, eventually in the game. I'm, I'm not going to go through that now, just because it's starting. Uh, you can craft a door if you if you feel uh, I'll show that recipe because it is uh, helpful if you're digging in a hole or something just by covering two lines of the crafting table you can get a door you can hold it in your hand and even though it doesn't look like a block it can be just by right clicking it you got a door and right clicking again will open and close it so one thing you'll know is uh, notice at night time there's monsters everywhere some can even come and spawn inside your house to prevent that, you're going to need coal. Finding coal uh, on your first night is not too difficult, but sometimes it depends on luck. You're going to want to go underground to about how deep I, I am and just dig to the side here until you find coal because it can get really dark and that's when monsters can take advantage of you and uh, kill you. And when you die, you respawn where you spawned at the beginning of the game unless you have made a bed which is probably confusing at the moment, but uh, I, I might show that in a later tutorial. So, now that you have all this stuff set up, uh, to make a torch you're going to need coal, but oh, we'll go over that a little later. I'm going to make a new crafting bench in here, just because uh, I have the spare wood. And now, uh, you'll notice my inventory is getting a little cramped. It's not that bad, but... Uh, I'm going to make what's known as a chess. By filling up the whole crafting table except the middle, you get a chess block. You can just place that down. As you see, it's a block, and by interacting with it, you got storage room. Put it in. You see the wool is not in my inventory. Right click in here. It's in the chest inventory. So I can grab, put stuff in, and just store stuff in there. So now that I got that, I got a storage place. I got my crafting place. Now I. I'm, I'm gonna need a place to sleep for the night. Sleeping is a very interesting part of the game. By sleeping you can uh, set your new spawn point which means when you die you will respawn uh, where your bed is. So I'm gonna make a bed right here pretty soon. And as well sleeping, when it turns nighttime like it will soon, sleeping will skip to morning. So I just stumbled upon this cave here. You see there's a skeleton down there, so I don't want to go talk with him, so I'm going to box it up. And I found a resource here. This black resource, which does take a while to mine out with a wooden pickaxe, is coal. As you see, when I mine it out, I'm getting uh, this coal right here. It's not actual the block, but I get just pieces of it. Um, I'm just going to dig my way out of here with my pickaxe. Do I have my shovel? Yes, I do. Put my shovel in my hotbar like that. And just dig my way out. There we go. So it's getting nighttime, which means monsters are going to spawn. Here's a cow. I'm just going to kill it. See, I got items, and I actually got some experience from it. Those were those glowing green balls. I don't know if you saw. And now it has a 1 in the middle of my interface there, which means I'm level 1. Levels can be used in a lot of different ways, but that comes in very later, very late in the game. So I got three raw beef I can eat, but um, I might want to do something else before I eat them. Since they're raw, I might cook them. To cook them, you're going to need some cobblestone. About eight should do. And you're going to get back to your house. You see it's night time now moons up we're gonna start seeing monsters spawn all in this region maybe even in our house but lucky for us we found that coal by putting a stick and the coal on top you see I get four torches I can put that anywhere just not in a different orientation 
four torches. So now I can put one right in my house, got a nice bright light, put another one in this corner, and maybe on my front step just so I don't get ambushed as I come out. And one over there, and so now it's nice and bright. You see monsters all over there, you got zombies, already see me, skeletons, spiders, all sorts of monsters that will just come after you. So I don't have windows on this place at the moment, so I'm just gonna box these up just for the safety reasons because I don't really need to see outside at the moment next thing I want to do is make a bed since it's nighttime I can just sleep through it all by putting a horizontal line of wood and then some wool on top I have a bed I can grab that switch over to my bed just right click and there you go nice bed takes up two spaces so make sure you have the room and uh, just by right clicking on that you'll see you'll be lying in bed it'll slowly fade out and it will be morning all of a sudden one thing to note is all monsters burn in the morning except oh and you see he caught me on fire there I might die oh no I survived yeah he caught me on fire there but um all monsters burn in the sunlight except for spiders and creepers see there's a zombie burning over there spiders in the morning they will become docile which means they will not attack you in the morning. So if you see a spider in the morning, you don't need to run. He'll be calm. He won't attack you. Creepers, on the other hand, are the same morning or night as you saw the one that exploded, exploded over there earlier. So as you see, my hunger and health is running really low. I'm going to need some sort of healing pretty soon. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a furnace exactly like the chest but with cobblestone. And I got a furnace. This allows me to cook my resources and make whole new items. It's also an essential to have in the game. So cooking stuff, you're going to put the item you wish to cook on top. You can put raw beef, you can put all sorts of things. So I'm going to put this raw food. And to cook it, you have to burn something. So I can burn, say, this stick. But as you see, the stick is not lasting very much power. In fact, it ran out before it could even finish cooking. So maybe I could even put wood. I could put wood in, but honestly, I feel like that's a waste of wood. The best is coal. One coal block can cook, can cook eight items. So I have three here. I'll easily cook all that three and could even have room for five more. So coal, just, and coal is so easy to come by that it's uh, the main thing I uh, use for cooking. So now you see this raw beef has turned into steak as this uh, arrow loads you'll see one of the raw beef turns into one of the steak and you can just leave leave it be you'll see the fire animation is on you can leave it be and come back and it'll be all good you can grab your steak and uh, go ahead and eat that you see I healed so much hunger just from one cooked food heals way more hunger so now that my hunger's full you'll watch my hearts they'll regenerate anytime there you go but the con of this is as my hearts regenerate just regenerating them drastically increases my hunger drop rate. So just from regening, I might lose a whole hunger bar here. But uh, it depends. Since I'm standing still, it might be slow. So yeah, it looks like uh, I'm not going to lose much hunger just from healing all that health. But there we go. I'm at full health. I got my bed. I got my storage. I can put some stuff in here. By shift holding down shift and clicking it'll automatically put your blocks in for you so I can get rid of all these stone uh, w wooden tools that I don't need put all this stuff away I got storage I got a source of cooking stuff I got full health I can change it to morning I got a uh, what can be called a home you can obviously this is just the very beginning of uh, how to play Minecraft hope you enjoyed this very long video but uh, uh, there's a lot of new people out there who don't know anything about Minecraft and uh, don't know what they got themselves into. So I hope this helps clear things up so you kind of know where to start, know what to do. And from there, you just go on mining, you get diamonds, kill bosses, make an armor, ride horses, build mansions, thousands of possibilities. That's the great thing about Minecraft. So hope you guys enjoyed. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Wow.